Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? Sorry, I must say that um, I am a little bit um, with a cold. So I have my my nose um, a bit, I don't know how to say it in English, <laughs> but I'm getting uh, a bit of cold. <laughs> so I will, I will speak a little bit weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I guess that um, this is happening right now because, um, because I guess my body felt the Scorpio energy and saying, oh my God, we have to go down. <laughs> congested, that's the word. Thank you. Um, I'm congested. <laughs> and I guess that when I'm congested, I, I'm a little bit more British <laughs> when I speak. <laughs> I just was saying that I think that maybe I'm the worst host uh, of meditation and consciousness uh, ever because I just yawn in your face. I'm just cleaning my nose in front of you. So sorry, but I guess that in such a way we are kind of a family, even if I don't know you. So uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So usually, um, for me, well, we, we start Scorpio now, and usually for me, um, the month of um, October um, and uh, Libra, sorry, <laughs> sorry, the month of Libra, uh, for me, it's uh, very hard, very difficult because I usually get very bored in Libra. Uh, for me, the month of October usually is like very slow and I don't know what to do. So um, for me, it was like a year, basically this last month. And um, maybe it's because um, I love this month, November, because um, I have my main planets, all of them, they are in the eighth house which is the house of Scorpio. So I feel a bit more comfortable in this energy. Um, so, um, so I guess this would be a great month, <laughs> both. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> I think that this would be a very funny meditation with the nose like this. So, um, we begin with Scorpio and Scorpio is um, probably one of the most difficult months that we are going to work because usually Scorpio takes us to the dark night of the soul is the one that takes us to the depth of our self and to show all the things that we don't usually like in ourselves. Um, to our shadows. So the reason why Scorpio is so heavy and so dark in such a way is because it's the only uh, astrological sign that will show us the darkness, the darkness that we have. And not because Scorpio is dark, it's because we, we usually hide all our own darkness. So as humans, we usually are, pers uh, are uh, in the constant pursuit of happiness. We want to be happy. So all the things that doesn't make us happy, all the things that makes us feel uncomfortable, we usually take it away or we hide it uh, in a box, 
we leave it away in the shadows, in the darkness, so we cannot see it. We rather don't see it, so we put it down there. So Scorpio is the one saying, no, you have to look at it, you have to watch it. So Scorpio takes all the dark things that are hidden in our box and throw it in our faces. Usually, usually the Scorpio ones are the people that is Scorpio, that has a lot of things in Scorpio. They usually are the ones that know exactly where to put the finger on the wound. Like, here's the wound and it press the wound. And this is because we were just not realizing about the wound. We don't want to see the wound. And Scorpio says, I can see it. So when Scorpio discovers the wound, the Scorpio is like happy to show us, oh, here it is, I found it. And because it's, it's uh, their <coughs> attribute, their goal. So um, they love to show, they enjoy to show where is the wound. So uh, to find the weakness in people is the most happy thing that a Scorpio can, can find because it's their attribute, it's the ability that they have to find the weakness, the thing that we were not seeing. So the story of Scorpio, um, it's from thousands of years ago. And the story says that this constellation first was known as the Eagle constellation. And the ego, the Eagle was like the higher self, representing the higher self that was able to see everything from above that could see all the images, that could see beyond. And all the shapes were there and there was nothing able to be hide by, um, from, from, from the eagle. So the eagle had this very perfect vision uh, so it could see for many kilometers away. So everything that the light um, was that the light was illuminating hmm? somehow the eagle was like a little bit a little bit uh suburb because um they said because he said i can see everything hmm? i can see all the things so if i can see all of you i can see everything so i am the best i am the one that is able to control all of you. That was his thought. So <coughs> the universe said, no, you are not the best one. So you have to be punished because you think you are better than the other ones because you see everything from above. So your punished, your, your punishment will be to do exactly the opposite, to go into the darkness, to go into the depth of the ocean where there is no light, to go into the mud so you cannot fly. So they put, the, the universe put the eagle into the ground and um, they, uh, and the universe put it very deep in the pressure of the world. So what the, what the, uh, eagle did was to become a scorpion scrawling in the earth and and the eagle said mm, the best thing that I have was the vision but now there is no light so she evolved to see in darkness and when the eagle took its potential of sight to see in the darkness it could, uh, she could see beyond the shapes, she could see inside the shapes. 
So this is why Scorpio is the one that can see in darkness, is the one that can see through us and to watch our weakness, our darkness within. By being in the darkness, the eagle is not able to hunt anymore. So it's big, big, okay, thank you. Uh, the beak of, of the eagle, it became the sting, the sting of the, of the scorpion, okay? So by being in darkness, it created a way to defend itself. And the way in which the Scorpio will defend itself is by the, um, by the venom that is inside the sting. Okay, so, um, so this is related with the ability of the Scorpio to put the venom, like to sting exactly <coughs> in the point of weakness of someone to kill it, okay? Um, that would be, so, but what is the venom? The venom is a tool to survive in darkness. So we are the ones creating that venom. And, and it appears because of all the things that we don't want to see, that we don't um, want to analyze. And we put that in darkness. So the, the poison of the, of the scorpion is not in, in the scorpio. The, the poison, the venom is inside of us, okay? Um, the, 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 the poison is, is um, our own darkness, all the things that we hid in, in, the, in the dark, okay? Uh, um, so what we, uh, what, what the Scorpio people do is to sting exactly where there is the darkness in someone so the venom, the, the, the poison creates a reaction and now we can see where we were hidden. So all the, all the things that we were hidden behind in the darkness now is shown, okay? So the, the poison becomes a way of healing. Hmm? So this is the ability of Scorpio. This is why Scorpio is a very uncomfortable energy for most of the people, because what they do is to go straight to the darkness, to find a way to to pick it uh, to pick it from the from the bottom of our darkness, our hidden part, and take it outside so you can see it. And nobody wants to see their own their own um, darkness, of course. So this is why. So another another thing of Scorpio is that Scorpio has the ability to make the invisible into visible. And this is that when they go into the depth of someone, when they go into <coughs> the inner part of the soul, of, of, of a person or of a reality, they just, um, um, they just take the, the, in, the information from inside, okay? They just take that information out and make it visible, something that we are not seeing, something that we don't appreciate, that we don't recognize, that we don't want to, to see, to uh, to to have in our lives, they have the ability to make it something visible. So this is why it's also related to the spirit, to the spiritism, um, to magic, to shamanism, because they use the the occultism, the ceremonies, all the dark things, the shapes, and all those. Um, um, 
all, all of these different uh, uh, weird shapes of, of, of the darkness and they take it <coughs> from this invisible world into the visible one so you can see it in the light hmm? um, so this ability to make the invisible into visible in, in the European languages, we may say mag, which is the origin of the word magic. This is why we also can relate the Scorpio with magic, with all the invisible things, all the, the alchemists that can take the venom of an animal and create, um, and create um, something to heal. Mm -hmm. All the things that were hidden becomes visible. So basically the concept of this whole month is the ability of the higher self, which represented the ego, to become Scorpio into the depth of this reality. So one thing that we have to see according to Scorpio is that this ego the higher self, the spirit, the enlightened one, has to come to the earth to live its own creation. So by coming to this planet, it starts to be in pressure. So this month also reminds us that the higher self has come to this reality to live the pressure of its own creation. This is why it's also related with the suffering, with the process of learning through uh, the crisis, to being under the pressure. Hmm? Um, and by this we can understand the concept of, um, of depth. Because basically, uh, depth means, and all this process of the spirit coming into the matter uh, is all about to touch the ground, to get into the bottom of, of the hole. So this would, be, this would mean that the only way I have to go back to heavens is if I touch the bottom of the, of the hole where I am digging in. Usually, um, we are willing to go up again, so we deny the bottom of the hole. We want to, to feel better, to feel fine, so this is why we usually live stuck in the middle, because we never go down. The only way to go up is by touching the bottom. When you touch the bottom, you now can face your own darkness, your own creation, and then you go up. This is why, in order to find our own enlightenment to go to the depth, we have to go to the very bottom of our darkness to face the darkness. And from there, we can start to go up again. So basically, if we deny the depth of the abyss, we are just denying the tools that we have to go out of it. Um, we as humans usually look for happiness, to feel comfortable, to feel fine. But this is something very physical, because what we usually want to do is to survive. So we want to feel safe and to feel fine um, because we want to to be like um, we want to be like this uh, living happily ever after <laughs> um, but the only way you can reach the enlightenment is when you face the darkness when you go to your own shadows and you face your own problems all the things that you have been denying. So in that moment, 
is when you can go through the darkness and use the darkness as a way to find the light. You will find the light going through the darkness. A way in which we can understand why the spirits are willing to live under pressure in this life is to understand something very cliche, I guess, or something very romantic in a way, um, which is diamonds can all exist under pressure. Diamonds are basically made of carbon, okay? And like we do, we are carbon. This body is made up with carbon, molecules of carbon. But um, the pressure of the atmospheres of the ground to the nucleus of the world makes so much pressure to the atoms of, of carbon that it creates diamonds. So a diamond is something so hard and so shiny, so beautiful, that we say, wow, this is so beautiful, but it, it was created by the biggest pressure ever. And so in order to shine like a diamond, you have to live under pressure. So I don't know if you have seen this from this point of view, but from the point of view of a spirit that is willing to become a diamond, uh, a human is the spiritual diamond. Because, uh, because basically, Humans are the, the physical aspect created by the pressure of reality. But what really we are is spiritual vibration creating the atoms of carbon. So the spirits are the vibration that creates the carbon. And we are carbon in, under pressure creating the body. So we are the diamonds of the spirit this is why every spirit that wants to know how can they bright how can they become like a diamond they have to be humans the same way in which a diamond awakes the wonder in us like we we are crazy for the diamonds because they are like wow so beautiful this is perfect and and how can something be so perfect so for spirits we are those diamonds uh it's exactly the same and we say how something under pressure can be so beautiful and the spirits also say the same for us it's like oh how something living so under pressure can be so beautiful so we are the diamonds of the spirits so this is why we as humans have to live under pressure in a world of chaos, in a horrible, in horrible situations, because this kind of pressure that we live in the world are the only ones that take the best of us. I don't know if you have noticed that, but the pressure of the reality is the one that allows you to take all the darkness and make it shine. You can transform darkness into into bright into a bright reality just by living under the pressure this is why i will advise you i will recommend you to take all the things that we are going to work during this month as this darkness these shadows that will give us the opportunity to become a diamond under pressure and this is why we have to go very deep so the um, the attribute of Scorpio for this whole month according to the I am will be I desire 
and desire basically means um, in Latin uh, to be sit, sit, to be sat, to sat, to be sat, yeah, to sit somewhere basically is that, to sit. Um, so the reason why um, why uh, desire means to be seated, to sit, is because when I decide, when I desire something, um, what is happening is that I am willing to feel pleasure, to feel comfort. Um, that's desire. So what uh, means desire in this concept of Scorpio? Um, basically, is to is to become sedentary. But the spiritual concept that we are going to work with is to put your butt in a correct place. <laughs> That's what it should mean. So to uh, to make your ass feel comfortable, basically, that's desire to sit properly in a place and to feel comfortable where you put your ass. <laughs> basically, it would be that. So, um, so the desire express the willing to feel comfortable. So, what we are going to work with with the I desire is to feel myself located. In myself where I have to be where I am supposed to be okay that's the word hmm? mm, sorry I'm a little bit dizzy because this is going up <laughs> so let's go to the information for today so remember that uh, we start the mental week, the from the mind week, for 10 days. And um, today, the first day is related to the crown chakra. The vibration for today is Nya. The statement for today is, I am the expansion of the mind. The quote for today is, the law of generation. The seventh law of the universe is that everything has the ability to generate realities. We are all creators and within ourselves we have the necessary power to manifest realities, for we are all divine beings made into matter. We are projections of the universe and thus born creators. We are inevitably inevitably products of polarity so uh, I don't know if you have heard it already but um, today we also changed the music um, for the whole month and this music um, uh, is related to the vegetal kingdom so um, it will be also um, taking us to the depth of the rainforest so thank you Gije for the music sorry I'm even having reactions so <laughs> from here to sleep so uh, just just before we start, something uh, to clarify for all the people that maybe they are sensitive to energies, um, to beings, because we are gonna go into the depth, um, into the darkness. So um, I just recommend we will be we will do like a protection, okay? But I recommend to. Uh, warm your hands like this, okay? Think like 
you have light and you put the heat on your neck back making it shine like a sun very bright and you do exactly the same in the kidneys okay at the high of the kidneys like this thinking that it's like two suns okay as a reminder because there is people that is afraid of the darkness and there is people very sensitive so this is just a reminder of how to take care of your of your main portals because this and the kidneys are the most um, soft uh, portals okay um, so it's better to take care of them if you are very sensitive to the energy and um, and the people that, that is afraid remember that to be afraid is basically to face things that you don't know and we are only going to face things from within of your own things okay so all things that you know but that you don't want to see basically okay so no need to be afraid so another important thing that um, throughout all this month um, if you ever feel fear, you feel afraid of something or whatever, you just stop what you're doing, the meditation, stop it. You just bring your hands to your heart, feel your heartbeat, and you start to open your eyes, coming back here and now, okay? Simple as that. And don't do anything else, don't do anything else, just in case, um you do it when you are not afraid okay that's it because it's not good to do it with fear because you will feel uncomfortable so there's no need to do that mm? um yeah uh remember uh to be seated okay to be seated not laying down okay because when you lay down you are just bringing the information from the horizontal network and we have to try to be aligned okay hmm? so nothing can bother us from this network um i am saying all this all these advices because i as every month i i like to say how the month is going to be so you have an idea of how it's going to move the energy but um, but this doesn't mean that it will be like heavy okay or hard maybe it's very soft and very good I don't know but um, but um, it's just for you to um, to um, to have an uh, to have an idea okay that if something happened what can you do another thing i will be very heavy explaining things but i don't care <laughs> so um uh, another thing to understand is that we are not going to face the darkness to fight against darkness during this uh whole month what we are going to do is to integrate the darkness, okay? And this month is very important for all the rest that are going to come. Because all the other things that we will work with, without transcending the darkness, without understanding the darkness, um, we are not going to be able to heal, to work with, to understand, to assimilate, all the rest of the information to work in this reality. Mm -hmm. uh, so that. So uh, just uh, the last thing, and with this we start. Uh, <clears throat> for sure, there is there is a lot of people here that you are meditating normal or good, but for some other people, um, 
for many people uh maybe you you channel you um you receive information you're sensitive to energies or or those things so um maybe some of these days we will work with some darkness okay so when we work with darkness for sure they will feel that oh this is home so they would come so whoever is very sensitive to sensitive to all these other beings like demons like like entities or whatever that are around all these free animals <laughs> from other dimensions so if you feel them you have to let them know that this body is only yours so what you will do is it doesn't matter what we are doing you just stop everything that you are doing and put your back straight and you say I am um, in your own language use your own language if you are Italian if you are French whatever you use your own language okay so in your own language you say I am and your entire name and you repeat it all the times that you need okay um, so this will let them all know that this is only yours that this is your body okay and when you do that you just enlighten from the heart with a lot of light all the environment that you are in okay with many 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 colors as many as possible not to take them away but to embrace them to give them light too with many colors okay so what you're doing with this is to say hey you are invited but to come to my party you have to recognize that this is my home this is me and if you come to my party you have to be dressed like a gay unicorn okay with many colors and all that so um basically that would be and you laugh a little bit <coughs> that would help always okay cool great let's do it so it doesn't matter the position what is important is that you have the spine like this hmm? Right. The first thing we are going to do is to sit comfortable and begin to move my shoulders in small circles. I focus in my breathing. As I breathe in and breathe out, I start to relax my shoulders, letting the weight fall down. I keep my eyes closed. Take a deep breath. I become aware, paying attention to my feet my legs, genitals, hands, arms, belly, chest and back, neck, and head. skin, recognizing every corner of the largest organ 
that covers my body. Take a deep breath. I become aware that all my skin is made with atoms, with photons that shine in every direction. I recognize how my skin starts to shine like a crystal, like a star, brighter and brighter until it covers all my being and beyond. I recognize also this light shining inside my body. making my bones to shine, muscles and organs, my entire body is now light. I perceive the light shining more and more until I recognize myself as the rays of sun moving through the atmosphere in the sky. I recognize that I am, I am the higher self, I am, I am, I am. I recognize now that I am that light that has been coming through the crown chakra to my body all of these days. And now it is my time to descend to the depth of the matter. I observe below myself my own body. I feel myself descending towards the crown of my body. I recognize myself shining in this lotus flower of my crown. It is here when I recognize that the I am become its me. It is here when I recognize that my spirit desires to live in the matter of my body.
is in this way that I perceive myself as a ray of light coming through all the center of my body, descending and perceiving in front of me my eyes, the throat, the heart from within, the stomach, intestines, genitals. I go through my legs, reaching the feet. I am the mind. willing to manifest itself in matter. It's my desire to live in this world, in this body. I desire my body here and now. I desire the depth. I go outside from my feet towards the ground. Going through the floor reaching the soil, the minerals, the rocks, I keep going down through the roots towards the big rocks, crossing through the crust of the planet. Feeling the pressure in my light. I feel the pressure of all air, of all its biosphere. Feel the pressure of the magma descending, and as I go deep, I contemplate the most beautiful diamonds around me. As I go deeper, I feel the iron core of the planet attracting me with a lot of speed to the center, to the core of all things. I recognize here and now that the importance of going to the depth is to find the center. It is here in the center, the core of all things, under the greatest pressure in the darkness of the earth where I will be 
able to recognize the importance of being in the depth. The importance of the darkness to face the reality, the truth that all shadows, all pressures are the ones creating who I am. Take a deep breath and set the intention to expand your mind. I vibrate. I am the mind expanding. I am the mind expanding. I am the mind expanding.
soon. You will have to expand yourself to the continents. Soon you will have to work for a new world. Soon you will have to create a new society. Soon you will have to believe a new reality. that there in the shadows relies the power of your reality. If you don't get yourself as one with the dark, you won't be able to shine. darkness, for behind all fears there is the truth. Light and life emerges from the center.
there is no need to come back here and now for you are here and now Rest and dream. There we will meet again.